I've just got a short painting tip for you in this video. One of the problems, first problems that I came across when I first started to paint was I had a hard time holding on to the model, okay? They're real small, obviously. Why we call them miniatures. If you just grip onto the base and you're painting and you're painting and you're painting and you're rolling it and you're rolling it, eventually you're gonna drop it on the floor. At least if you're me, you're gonna drop it on the floor. And if you're me, you have cats and they shed and now you have wet miniature on cat hair, doesn't make anybody happy. So one of the first things that I started doing was figuring out a way to get these models uh, into a situation where I could hold on to them a little bit better. So what I started doing is attaching them to pill bottles, which you probably saw some of these in the last video when I talked about how to prepare to paint your army. I was showing off, uh, I'm not really sure where the models are now, but these are some of the models I'm actually starting to paint for my, my army. And you'll see they're stuck on there pretty good. These are just pill bottles that I accrue uh, as I go through life, and they're stuck on with something called poster putty. This is um, Simply Tacky. It's a, it's a clever name. Uh, I get this from uh, my local Hobby Lobby. You can probably get some sort of poster putty from your local hobby store. I know, I think in Europe they call it Blue Tack. Anyway, um, what you do is you get a glob of it, and you take it, you get a small ball, bigger than a pea, maybe the size of two or three peas, and you take yourself a pill bottle and you just put a glob of it on top of the pill bottle. Then you take your model and you grip firmly, preferably right by the legs, right on the side by the legs. I don't know if you can see that there. But then you just press it down onto the model, rotate it a little bit, and it's not coming off. One of the upsides to doing it like this is that when you're trying to paint, you keep your hands together, keep them steady. If your best bet is to put your elbows either on your, um, you know, your legs or on the table, but then you can paint and you can paint and you can keep rolling and you can keep rolling and you can keep spinning upside down Whatever you need to do, you've got this big handle to hold on to this miniature, and you're just not going to drop it, most likely. Things like this, which seem really simple, can actually help your painting a lot. A lot of people always ask me, uh, people who aren't miniatures painters, when they see some of my stuff, they say, how do you paint so small? You have to use a special magnifying glass and all kinds of tiny little brushes, and this brush isn't that small. But the fact is, is that with the extra added control, the ability to hold on to a figure and paint and put the, the paint exactly where you want, that's what actually is the trick to miniatures painting. So get yourself some pill bottles. You can use aspirin. You can use normal prescription ones. Get yourself some blue tack, poster putty, whatever you want to use. Poster putty's got a lot of other really helpful uses, which I'll probably touch on in another video. Put those things together and uh, start holding on to some miniatures and uh, don't drop them and start painting.